Hi. I would like to talk to you about something that's on my mind. Um, just think, just think about um, people who um, used to, used to be called, used to be um, diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome, which is a um, which is an autism-like condition, except except there's um, basically no, no language delays, no intellectual um, deficiencies, and and usually um, associated with ha those um, patients having like a higher IQ than most people. I mean, is I just watched a video um, this morning to talk about the difference between like uh, like Aspergers and uh, like high functioning autism because um, with autism there there's usually like a delay a delay in like like learning language and speech and just uh, and there's also like uh, like intellectual deficiencies because uh, because uh, people with autism or I mean, people who used used to be diagnosed with, with just autism uh, basically have like a av like average or below average um, IQ. And, and uh, now nowadays um, nowadays that ter the term Asperger syndrome is no no longer used except in like certain countries where where they um usually like a different di diagnosis manual for like um psych psychiatric um conditions um i mean it's, it's, everything's basically folded over in, into this umbrella term called autism spectrum disorder i mean and there's like three levels of um, like autism spectrum disorders. Like um, like there's like um, what we call what we call ASD level one, where where they basically need very little or no support at all. Uh, those those people may ha may still have. May still have some difficulties, um, but they're not enough to like hamper every everyday activities, and they're, they're still able to they're still able to speak verbally. Just, uh, and then there's um, ASD level two, and there's um, where you get get into like um, they have they, they they need significant support systems and. It's, they um, have um, like di difficulties with, uh, with with verbal speech and um, and they have have like uh, repetitive behaviors that that um, is get in the way of their. Uh, Interaction with people, and, just, uh, and and there's um, ASD level three where they need, need um, lots of support. And there's like non-verbal. It's like these are very uh, and very very high support people that just can't can't really function without non. Uh, Without a support system in place, and just uh, anyway, getting getting to um, get, getting to why um, Asperger's syndrome is no longer being used, um, according to um, like Healthline, it says the main reason Asperger's is no longer diagnosis is because it's difficult to clearly di differentiate it from autism spectrum disorder or ASC reliably or with certainty. Symptoms of Asperger's were often indistinguishable from 
ASD requiring minimal support, now known as ASD level 1. And I have a feeling that I pretty much am, am diagnosed as um, ASD level 1. Because I am able to verbally um, communicate and, and uh, I d don't have don't have like uh, like more severe condi part symptoms of a condition like like uh, like rep like repetitive behaviors and just like. No, I mean another reason that um, Asperger syndrome is hardly used is basically the association of the person whom the condition is coined after, um, Hans Asperger, who who is um, studying um, autism in in uh, Vienna, Austria, uh, around around the same time that his um, contemporary. Leo Kanner was studying um, autism in, in um, America, and um, they—I mean—they both have their little, their little studies, and they found all different things, like, like, um, like Leo Kanner um, was was um, studying a group of young children, mostly boys. Um, and found that they were nonverbal. Um, just uh, they had like language delays and just uh, and and it says basically said that this condition is very rare. I mean, this, this is what when what would be called classic autism or body be like um, infantile autism. However, um, Hans Asperger um, in, in Vienna was, was studying the um, condition among bo boys in his, his, his um, country and basically the condi condition is um, he's studying is ba basically um, boys with like um, Autism-like condition, but they uh, have no language delays, and they're like incredibly smart. And just uh, these, are, these are like uh, what he called his little professors, or 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 le less flattering, called uh, call called them autistic psychopaths. However, um, Hans Asperger, unfortunately, uh, what. He got, got um, mired in situation in um, Europe. Um, I mean, at, at, at before like World War One start, World War Two started, um, and he he was um, he he never associated himself with the like the Nazi Party, which which was um, ba basically. Um, Pushing out this junk about about the um, master race and all all that stuff. And just, uh, but he but he did um, end up sending um, a group of children that he he he, cons he, he considered um, def defective to like um, these special hospitals where where they the children would be euthanized to death and stuff. Uh, and of course, of course, this, I mean, however, um, Asperger's syndrome was never, was never, um, mentioned as, as an addition until, like, um, like the 1980s, where, um, <clears throat> a British psychologist named Lorna Wing, um, was studying, um, Asperger's, um, papers, and ba basically, Came to the conclusion that there's uh, that there, there is a condition that that's like autism, uh, but it's uh, 
it's actually more common among, among you know, like young boys and just uh, it, that, that she coined, coined the term Asperger's syndrome and, 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 and that name stuck and was part of the like the DSM um, manual in, um, the light, like 1994 until until 2013 when Asperger syndrome and pervasive developmental disorder not otherwise specified and were, were ro rolled into this umbrella term um, autism spectrum disorder and however there are pe people who, who are uh, diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome who keep using the term Asperger's or or, or, or as they like to refer to themselves, Aspies, and just uh, that they feel that that they're distinct enough from people who have uh, like traditional uh, or classic autism. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have to uh, share with you in this video. So. Have a good day, and may God bless you.